Have you ever wondered how people make that text effect where it almost looks like the text is glued above someone's head? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make that yourself. So I got this pretty insane clip here and uh, oh man, it's brutal to rewatch. <laughs> But I thought it'd be fun to uh, track some text to Reyna's face. Now I know a lot of people get nervous about using Fusion because nodes can be confusing, but trust me, this is super easy to do. So let's get into it. Here we got our clip and it's always good to kind of map out where you're trying to track. So since we want to track it to Reyna's face, her face starts right here. All this is the meat of the video. Face is still in there and then it disappears we'll say it disappears here so what I like to do is start somewhere in the middle because that will give you the best track and while we're selected on media in one what we're going to do is hit shift space to bring up the select tool page and we're gonna type in tracker we're gonna select the regular tracking node add that into the pipeline and you'll be greeted with this green square now couple things about it first of all you can change the shape of this square so if you click on the outside of it you can drag it move it around but if you actually want to reposition this thing you have to select the top left you see this little dot right here you can click that it'll zoom in and then you can move around now the inside box that's what you're actually tracking and the outside is where the tracker is going to be looking so I don't want necessarily all of this negative space. I really just want Raina's face. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. We can bring down this outside box too. So something like this. Let's go over to the inspector. We're going to go to operations, change the operation mode from none to match move. Go back to tracker. We're going to change adaptive mode to best match. You can bring down the match tolerance a little bit. This will just give you a smoother track and then you can just track from here. Now, you don't wanna track forward, you wanna track from your current time. So make sure you hit that if you're starting in the middle of your video and you just let this kinda do its thing. Now, if you noticed, I started to lose the track and what we can do is bring this back right before we start losing it. So right here, just gonna reposition this and then track over the data that I have. There we go. But anyways, now I brought my playhead back to the beginning. I think this is the first frame that we start. And I'm just going to track backwards now. So unfortunately, I lost the video, but what ended up happening was the tracking data got messed up again. So what I had to do was reposition my tracker, and then I was able to track backwards. So right now I'm double checking, and it looks like my tracking data gets messed up somewhere in the middle because of this jagged line over here. And so all I have to do is find where it starts to get messed up and then reposition my tracker again and track from there. I'm going to put my tracker back on Reyna's head. We're gonna track forward. See if that can't fix some of the tracking data. Pop it right there. That should be it. There we go. So now that we have all of this tracking data, we actually have to apply some text. So if we go into our hot bar, you'll see this T that is your text node. You can click that, drop it into the grid, connect it to the green arrow because this is the foreground element. And let's just type in example text. Now, if you play your video, the problem that you're going to find is that your text isn't actually tracked where you want it it's just over Reyna so what we have to do is reposition this and there's a few different ways that you can do it the first one is really easy I probably didn't pick the best colors for this but uh you'll see this circle with these two arrows this is how you can move the x and y axis you could also go into layout and adjust it manually over here the other thing you can do is grab the square right in the center and move your text where you want it so what I'm going to do is make my text a little bit smaller, reposition it like that, zoom out a little bit, and let's just play this and see what it looks like. Looking good. So now our only problem is the text just kind of hangs out before we see Reyna and then after we see Reyna. So we have to keyframe this in and out. 
and there's a million different ways that you can do it. What I'm gonna do is add some size keyframes. So right here, that's where it starts to get messed up. But what we're going to do is go over to our inspector. We're gonna click on this white diamond next to size. That's how you add keyframes. And move this over a little bit and then just make our size zero so we can't see it anymore. We're gonna do the same thing at the beginning of our video, right around here. That's where we want it. I'm gonna move back, and that's where we don't want it. So now, coming in, boom. So let's watch our video back in the edit tab. Look at that. <laughs> Text is perfectly tracked in, and my aim still sucks. Now the one problem with this method is that it doesn't account for perspective. So even though we have our text tracked in, the size doesn't change and you'll end up with something like this. An easy solution is to add some size keyframes. So similar to what we did before, we just have to add keyframes for the size here. So I have my playhead at the very beginning of my video and all we have to do is add a size keyframe, but we also need to add a center keyframe in layout. And this is because when we make the text smaller, it's going to make it look like it's sitting higher. You can see in this example, the text looks like it's sitting higher above Yoru's head. So at the end of the video, when we make the text smaller, we also have to bring it down. Now watching this back in the edit tab, if we're lucky, we don't have to add any more keyframes, but it looks like we're not, we're gonna have to add a couple more. Now it's best to start somewhere in the middle of your video because this will kind of average things out. If you need to add more keyframes, do it as needed, but definitely start somewhere in the middle of your video. So starting out in the middle, what I'm going to do is make the size smaller and then adjust the height of it as necessary. Gonna scrub through, see how this looks. seems like we need to reposition it a little bit right here but now it should be perfect so let's watch this in the edit tab looking good looking good a little bit of a hiccup there but this is exactly what it should look like and that is how you track text over somebody's head as always if this video helped please leave a like on the video so i can know and if you're not subscribed what are you doing it's free if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i will do my best to reply to all of them anyways i gotta get going so i will catch you in the next one